<laughs> Welcome to Bright Horizons with Deb and Jim. Jim. Hola, buenos dias. Hello and good morning, everyone. Buongiorno Happy Fantastic Friday. Si. Fantastic Friday. <laughs> And guess what day it is? It's December the 2nd, the beginning of December. We're on our way to Christmas, everybody. Yes, and, and Deb has this place decorated. You can't see it well, from this vantage point. I, well, I promise but to take pictures. But when I walked pictures. in, beautiful Christmas scenery. That's just the A office. Reef. I haven't yes. touched the house yet. So, oh boy, that's this weekend coming and, up. And was a Thanksgiving. I'm sure Greg was cooked, and cooked and cooked yes. and cooked and cooked and baked. It was wonderful. It was too, entirely too much food, which of course we know that, and that's a given every year. Right. But uh, it was lovely. We had uh, our family, and we were blessed, and it was just so, so lovely. How was yours? I went to Jean Marie, my niece, my beautiful niece Jean Marie, Aww, and my beautiful nice. niece Christina was in nice. town with her children. Nice. So the whole family got together. Nice, Jim. Loved see, it. that's what's about family. And, you know, especially when it's the holiday time, because... We don't spend enough time with the family, as we all talk about on a regular basis. So when right. it does come time for, you know, holidays, boy, if you could spend time with your family, go for it, enjoy, and spend every quality moment that you can because it makes it even more special. And what's beautiful is that you and Greg host it. It's, yeah, it's thank a, you. And, thank you. It was very, very his nice. His culinary talents. You know. He's amazing. In fact, my sister Holly was saying, you know, and... Uh, He's got to do like a YouTube station or something. He's got to because he's just that good. Well, that would be good because he could do that from home. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I have recipes to push him a and bit, ideas. Yeah. Oh. Even though I mean, there's a lot of competition. You know, we were watching the show Hell's Kitchen last night with uh, uh -huh. Gordon Ramsay. He's fabulous, and uh, we love it every Thursday night. And he's a tough cookie, but he's great. So Gordon Ramsay, we love you. Gordon um, Ramsay got competition. <laughs> Greg Colalera. I don't know about that, but I'll tell you, he would love Greg. He would love him if he ever met him. I'll tell what, you. What did Greg prepare for Thanksgiving? Of course, your standard traditional turkey and your beautiful uh, st uh, stuffing with apples and uh, dates. Oh, apples and dates. Uh, delicious, good. fabulous. And of course, homemade left gravy. Over? Unfortunately, no, my Jim. I'm sorry. <laughs> Today's actually Friday. It's a day. A week yesterday was Thanksgiving. In fact, Carol spent time with us and she didn't take it. She calls That's it a dog. Our dear friend, Carol, Carol Dubinsky. Dubinsky. And uh, Carol was supposed to spend the night, and she didn't, but she, my sister drove her home, and she's like, you know, I should have brought a doggy bag. I said, doggy bag? I said, what if we said that, you know, a goodie bag maybe, but I said, honey, I said, and she refused. She said, she had to get home. I said, okay. I said, you had your chance, but honestly, we had so much food. Holly didn't take any, and I insisted the next day, I said, Holly, please get back to the house. We have entirely too much food. I've got plenty of containers. You've got to come back. So she did, so we oh, gave her a nice. stack of food. David and Deb, you know, my and, beautiful sister-in-law and brother, but... And those leftovers taste even better Aren't they better the second day around? Yes. Oh, and the third day, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> In fact, Greg had so much turkey, I'll tell you what he did. He made a turkey pot pie. Wow. On top of that. And, you know, so you leave it to question, a chef to come oh, up with so that. there's so much creativity that goes involved. I mean, really, it's... How many pounds was the turkey, do you remember? Actually, we had two. Oh, yeah, two We had two. I had a left One over. turkey, and these were turkeys, two butterball turkeys from last year that were frozen and, of course, frozen, naturally. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that was a stupid thing to say, but anyway... Um, I caught myself on that one. And were they both prepared the same yeah. way? Uh, or they, did he have one any variety? was prepared. He took basically like the neck and all the giblets and all the good stuff out of the other, the smaller turkey to make the gravies and what have you. Um, lots of gravy. Uh, in fact, he froze. And that's what he does on a yearly basis. He, he just goes in, he, he freezes a couple of con you know, containers, and it stays wonderful. Now what, the now, what do you do in the kitchen while he's doing that on Thanksgiving morning? I, I clean behind him. <laughs> I feel so guilty because I'm like, oh, my gosh, here he is. But, you know, in a sense, like Carol said, she's like, Deb, really, it's his kitchen. And I'm only in his way. You think? So it kind Good of way means, to rationalize. I, I have to try to rationalize. <laughs> Well, I'm thinking to myself, well, if I don't, if I do this, I really and truly am in his way, you know, <laughs> and he's got a certain, uh, uh, a method to his madness of how he gets it done. Me, I'd be like this with a knife, you know, and him, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> he's got this done, that done, that. I'll forget it. He's all a talent. Done. Plus, he's got it all timed in his yeah. head, and the, and the so, sequence of, of preparation. And, and even Carol, like, just picture little Carol. She says, "I feel so guilty sitting here. What can I do?" I said, "Drink your wine." <laughs> I said, "Drink your wine." <laughs> you I might, said, "I can't even get in the kitchen with this chef." I said, "Don't worry about it." You might notice we're both co color coordinated, but that's we, right. we had no this. idea this would yeah, happen. Blue right. and white. Blue and white. See. Good minds think alike. Good minds think alike. Looks there we good go. On, it's good on the, it looks good on the screen. Yes, it does. Well, blue is fabulous. It has to be <laughs> And one she's of got her Zsa, Zsa curls going. Zsa Zsa curls and look at the going. jewelry, the yes, pretty earrings. Yes, thank you, Jim. Nice. Look at, your, look at this handsome thank bow tie. You. It's all Christmassy. He's yes. got 
It's red. Right. All you have the snowflakes. I see snowflakes. Yeah. Snowflakes, and you've got the design. What's over there's here? A, there's a, yeah. yeah. So plant. so design. I mean, so every time I see you, that's a Brooks brother. I think oh, yeah, Brooks brother. That's one of your favorite shots. <laughs> but every time I see you, I think, oh, I've seen all his bow ties. No, I haven't. No, I have not. No. It's amazing how many I have when I think about it. But they're <laughs> awesome. They're many. great. And you, the color coordination is fabulous. Thank I you. Can do with each and every one. It's perfect every Thank, time. I want to acknowledge Pat Fitzgerald and her husband, Henry, had an anniversary. Happy, Happy anniversary, anniversary and Pat, many, many Henry. more blessed years. And Carol Labune had a birthday, so we'd like to wish her a happy Carol, birthday. Carol, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Carol. Happy birthday to you and many more. Many, many more. Yes. God bless. Happy birthday, Dad. Carol used to do comedy skits with me. You know, oh, I'm a comedy nice. writer. Most of you yeah. know I'm a comedy writer. So for the Realtors Association, Carol worked for them in Jupiter. Uh -huh. And I would write the skits and she would be in my, co my cohort. You know, and we would wor work off each other and have these uh, t routines like Deb and I sometimes do. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Carol was, and she's got a wonderful sense of humor, so it was a lot of fun working with her. <laughs> Fabulous. You see? Yeah. The times of our lives. I was usually the straight man, friends. and she was the comedian part of it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I wish I could see. Uh, you can't see that now? No? You can't? See the skits yeah. that we did? I would no, love, they're, they're oh, that's, anyway. that was, oh, I don't think they were ever recorded. How much fun with that piece to see? But that's okay. The yeah. memories in your heart and yes. soul, that's all that matters. <laughs> so today's topic is about what, what habits do, do you, want you want to change? Change. We are heading into a new year, so what habits? You know, it's funny that we've, we've got that topic now because I new just thought about that now, to be it. honest with you. I really did, honest to God. And I just said, mm, all right, we're moving into a new year. And it's December That's the 2nd, and it's going to go, whoops. You always assess yourself at the end of the year and That's say, right. what things do I want to change? And a lot of times it's habits. Yes, and it really is habits, and it's all in here. I was going back and reflecting when I gave up smoking in 2009. I know you never knew that I smoked, but I wasn't, you know, I don't know. It was just I was ready. And when you're ready, 2009. You 2009. Yes. Wow. So you smoked a long time. Cold. No, cold turkey. I went. Boom. Oh no, I quit in 2009. I know, but yeah, from but a I, young age, you probably so started. I, in your 20s. Not 20s, and then I just basically, and then time flew by. Why? It's it's such a horrible habit. I can say that, but I'm a reformed smoker, so I'm going to actually keep my mouth shut because you know I did smoke. So no, no, it's good to talk about it. It's good to talk about it because it's uh, not healthy for people. Oh gosh, yeah. no, not at all. And you know, it's the best thing I ever did. And now, how I many knew cigarettes would you smoke a day on average? Seven. Really? Eight, yeah. Oh, but you see, I would have coffee in the morning and maybe with a glass cigarette. Of, yeah, with a cigarette. And then, of course, in the evening, I'd have a glass of vino. So then you smoked in the house? But not, no, outside. Oh, outside, outside. Okay. Oh, yeah, outside yeah. on the patio. So okay. never in the house. But okay. I just, I really, I look back, I'm like, wow, am I proud? And last night, Greg and I were watching TV, and I saw a commercial for nicotine, nicotine, or right. just to quit smoking the patches that they have out there. And good luck to all of you who are out there trying that. I feel blessed. I, I went cold turkey. I truly had to God that's, that's went cold turkey. That's because you and your mind were committed right, to it. Right, right. Which and some I people truly, can do. I, I just, I still, to this day, and Greg looks at me and like, I still can't believe you did that because he just never thought. And I married right. a non-smoker, yeah, so. That's hard. Uh, and he just, in the beginning, was very strict. And after time went on, he's like, oh, she's going to do it anyway. So. Were you smoking when you met him? Yes. Okay. But not as much when I was with him. And then, but, you know, I realized that it's a habit. You can, What do they say? It takes 21 days to create or break a habit, to right. create a habit. Right. It's mind over matter. It truly yes. is. And that was the one. I only brought that up because out of all the habits that I wanted to get rid of in my life, that was the one that I'm so proud of. Because, I mean, I don't really have, you know, bad ha Well, we were human, but I'm just, that was a bad habit. That was a yucky, yeah, horrible. It's, I can't it's find the words for, for that. Health. No. Yeah, that, yeah. And I love to sing, too, so that's not going to cut it. You know, you cannot you know, smoke so, and sing. Some habits, like people who bite their nails, I mean, oh. it's not going to kill you. Smoking, you know, actually. As a young child, you could do that, right? Right, of yeah. course. Yeah. And, you know, remember the days when the cigarette packs, you know. Remember the Marlboro Country? I mean, it was fa it was in fashion once upon a time. The man on the horse, the Marlboro Country. You'd see the billboards. You'd see I Love Lucy and, shows. And, and I was going to say, you know, Ricky it's interesting. Ricardo, they were all smoking. Yes. And when it was very fashionable. Sure. When you look at some of the older movies, too, they were yeah. smoking. And now we look at it and we say, oh, my God. And it was like, remember the long hair? Remember yes. the long hair? Uh, uh, Edie Adams, remember oh, her? Oh, darling. Yes. 
Did she, you light my fire? Yeah, those those long <laughs> cigarettes. It made it almost sexy, you know. To, I know for it was like the thing that to do. Cigarette holder. Yeah, yeah, and then of course I. The way they would hold it yeah, like that. Just like oh, oh <laughs> darling, and their sables and their blah 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 and their jaw jaw curls. That's why you started <laughs> smoking. You saw that on TV. Well, you know, you children are impressionable, you know. But anyway, that's just an example of habits. And uh, good luck to you if you're out there. You could, if I do it, you can do it. I know you can. Just stick to it. Stick to your yes, your beliefs. Yes, we want you to be healthy, and yeah, we know it's an addiction. Oh yeah, it's 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 one I'll never go. If if you you couldn't nothing, I would never go back to it. Period. That's why I look at my never, ne nephews and my niece, it. and I say to myself, I hope they never start smoking. I hope they never start smoking. Yeah. Because yeah. you know, once you start, it's so hard to stop. I thought that I couldn't, but and I said to myself, You're stronger than that, Deb. And I've got a good relationship with the man upstairs, so he helped me through it that, all. I mean, very, it was because of him, really. Yeah, that's very yeah. inspiring that yeah. you're able to do that. Very much so. So thank you for sharing that with us. Okay, and I'll shut up about me and my smoking. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. But it is a habit. Now, another habit that Deb has is the Zsa, Zsa curls. Look at them. <laughs> Every, every time we're here, That's she's true. got the Zsa, Zsa you know, I love, I guess it's just embedded in me. Even, oh, now you have yeah, some on the back, yeah, too, I today. Oh. Wow, she threw an extra one in. Here. <laughs> <laughs> I spritz it up in there for the Thanksgiving. I wore it down. She's compelled to do it. She has to do that. I have to do it. But a lot of times I'll wear my hair. I'll come to the show. You'll see me one day. I just wear it like a Pekingese, like all the way back, and just like a bun in the back. Oh, I want to see I that. I've never it. seen I will, that. I will show you. I, will show you. I, I like to, to be fashionable. I enjoy wearing my hair in different ways. For Thanksgiving, I wore it down. Everyone was shocked. Oh, did like, you? Yeah. Wow. Did you like, take any photographs? Me? We have yes, to see that it's next on Facebook. time. So it's like, oh my gosh, you have hair? <laughs> it's just easier throughout the years because you just take it, clip it, girls, you know what I'm talking about. So anyway, what are the habits that we could discuss? You know, I was thinking about, uh, we were talking about spending more quality time with family. Yes, make that a good habit. Yes. Continually do. Speaking of good habits, uh, healthier habits are always good to keep in mind. We all know that. There are things that we, we don't want to lose if we can help it. And yeah. it, you know, it's interesting. Uh, last night I was preparing for our show, and there's a law of attraction. Have you heard of that? Where mm -hmm. if you yes, think about yes, things, yes. They'll, be, they'll appear. Manifest, absolutely. Yeah. Well, I was on YouTube yeah. trying to look at just some videos, and all of a sudden this one appears about consciousness. Ah. I said, wow, that's interesting. And, and, and yeah. it was very relevant to our topic today. Because habits are usually unconscious acts. You know, you're just doing it out of routine. True. So you don't think about it. Very interesting. And, it was, and the gentleman said, the way to stop uh, yourself from doing things, which is, could be construed to be habits, is to be conscious of it and then be aware of it. Wow, okay? I like that, yeah. Don't try to fight. He said, don't, don't, try, to said, don't try to fight it. Know that it's there in your know mind. Know that it's there. Yeah, okay. yeah, be like aware that. of it. Right. And then you can actually deal with it because you're aware of it. Because most hmm. of them are unconscious. So he, And it, the goal was to live a life of purpose and presence, which is a very good, a very, admirable very, philosophy. Very, yeah. awesome statement. Yes. I love that. I love that a lot. A I life really of do. purpose and presence. And you know, that I mentioned this before with the word purpose. A, a number of my senior clients have gone into depression because they have no purpose in their lives. That's such a shame. Yes. Oh, I remember, yeah, you yes, mentioned that. Yes, I did that. mention that before. But so it's so if, important if you to have friends and relatives who are seniors, yeah. try to reinforce with them that, that, that they should have a purpose, whether it's charitable work, you know, so helping others. It's a yeah. wonderful purpose when you help others because you grow and you feel like you've accomplished something. Yeah, right so try to, them, right? try to encourage uh, seniors who you might find being isolated and a little reclusive to get out of from them, themselves and be aware of it be conscious of it and develop a purpose so that they'll be you know I satisfied love that, yeah absolutely yeah. so so important and especially as we all get older I see it more so today because I'm getting older we're all getting older and everyone that we love our friends and family we're all evolving yes you know? we're all evolving around one another and uh, Another thing I was thinking, I'd love to wake up listening to nature sounds. Yes. And uh, that's really something that I've been more in tune with lately than ever. It's, I've always been in tune with nature sounds. But there's something that is so tranquil. Yes. That's the word I want to use, tranquil. 
Uh, it's relaxing, li relaxing music you want to listen to, smooth jazz lately. Well, well, you have so much on your mind. To, you know, make that a habit. Make that a great habit yes. to do. Because well, well, think about how wonderful you feel when you're out, outside uh, right. and you hear birds right. chirping. I love that. Or you're, you you're, wake up and say, like, oh, how wonderful to yes. wake up to the sound of the birds like that. I or mean, you're near just, water and you hear the, the rippling the of the water. It's a just lot of beautiful. times at night, because I'm a very poor sleeper. It's just me. I have 101 things on my mind that I shouldn't do that, but that's it's okay. You have to be um, aware. Of it, I have to be, be aware of it. Of yeah, it. Thank you, Jim. Yes, you see, <laughs> it's so important, and I have to be, and I am aware of it. Now, and now I the, listen to the sleep music at night, I do, and uh, meditation music, and all of a sudden it's like space music. I'll be like, do, 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 and I'll be lined up, I'll go like this. I'll be like, okay, close your eyes, I'll close my eyes, and then I'll picture myself on a cloud. That's beautiful picture, that you said that. And this is what I'll do, I'll go like, I'll lie there in bed, go, okay, close your eyes. Picture yourself on a cloud, and then I'll think of marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> and then I think, okay, the marshmallows smell delightful. <laughs> I try to, and this is how I just take everything well, out it, of my it's, head. It's interesting you mentioned that about sleep, because this yeah. gentleman who was speaking about consciousness also spoke with Oprah Winfrey. Oh, she okay. interviewed him. And so I watched a few videos, and she said to him about insomnia and not being able to sleep and you know what his his response was which is similar to you you have to lay back wow. don't fight it you see right. you can't think right. oh i want to get to sleep i have to get to sleep it's all mind control yes. so what he said is lie back yes it's similar to what you said because mm -hmm. you, you want to take your focus off not being able to sleep now you thought about clouds and that oh yes but yes. what he suggested also was extend your arms like that and think about your hands oh Okay. Well, now you're doing Focus that the energy in your body in your hands, and that takes it away from your from your brain and the thought process about wow. sleep. It's almost like going into a meditative state. Yes. And then he said, and then think about your feet, and the energy in your feet and your body. And he said, very often times when you do that, you'll fall asleep. Because and then you if your body rises up, you better rise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Greg will start screaming. He sees your body Honey, levitating. I'm out of here. See ya. <laughs> Wake up, you're it's, levitating. It's been nice knowing you. <laughs> <laughs> but that is so... <laughs> so that is so profound. If you're not able to so... sleep sometime, think about that. Just lay back. That is so... Contact. I love that. Think you know, about the energy in your in, hands. Breathe in, breathe out. I love that. And also the say to yourself, body. I have peace. I have yes. This is another thing I do. Honest to God. I have peace. I have joy. I love. And I love everything. See, it's a form myself. of meditation. Yes, it's a form of meditation. <sighs> Deb, you could do it. Sleep. Put your mind at ease. There is nothing that you need to worry about. Right. You need to put your mind at ease. And right. I will do this, and it will work until I have turned to the bathroom or something, of course. Right. And I'm, I'm up again doing right. it. But, you know, honestly, it does work. So we hope you, we've given you some hints habits, if you're not able to sleep. <laughs> habits. What habits do you want yeah. to change? <laughs> You know, one, one funny habit that I've ha that I had, it's not something that's really a conscious habit, but remember I worked at High Life for a while? Yes, you had said. Mm -hmm. I was a, a, a clerk at the desk. I would sell the tickets, and then I would cash in the winning tickets. High Life, for those of you who don't know, is a game that's played by two players, and you bet on the players who's going to win. So I, people would come up to the counter periodically, and I would count the money, and this one woman said to me, you're left-handed. I said, what do you mean? I said, no, I'm right-handed. She said, you count money left-handed. And I ah, never knew and that. And you weren't conscious about it. How do you like that? Right? Now, that's not something I'm going to change because I feel comfortable doing it. Right, you do. But it's interesting how that habit developed. I don't know how it developed. That I would count, now that you said that, count I'm thinking, money left-handed. Wow, I love that. And now that you mentioned money, you see how habits just come to us? I am maybe a little OCD, obsessive-compulsive. I can't help it. Say 10 or 5, several 1s, 20s. My money's got to be 20s, I've got to be 20s, 10s, I've got to be 10s, 5s, and the high's got to be first, so 20s, 10s, 5s, and 1s, and then they have to be straight, and the face is all, and I know that's, that's, a, that's a bit a much, yeah, but that's, I know that's a bit much, that's mad, actually a good but habit, but that is being organized to me, and then I said right. to myself the other day when I did this, I'm like, there you go, what are you doing, <laughs> what are you doing, Deb, and then I realized, wait a second, this has been the way you've always been, but you know, there's a good feature but about I that, organized. Be because if you have to reach for a, de a certain denomination, true, you true, know where they are. True. Whereas if you don't, and you're fumbling through, which I didn't think it, about until you just said, yeah, that you're right fumbling now. through looking for a five right. or a ten. It's really better to have it all organized that way. And then I had a girlfriend, which is a cut on his truth. I used to irritate me to no end, and I couldn't say anything. You know, you don't, you, she would just take money and just throw it in her purse. I'd be like, 
<laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> you know, because I don't take that lightly. It's like, right. you know, you work for that money. What are you doing? That's true. And just crumpling and just, okay. And, and then and, imagine if she had to look for something. She'd be fumbling through uh, all see, that. I, trying get, to I would get have a to, I would really take a purse and go through it myself and organize it for her. I mean, that's how OC I mean. But yeah, that is, it's But that's a good habit. That and that brings us to the new year. Organization yeah. is important. So some of us who are less yeah. organized. I was think, in the kitchen last night. But cleaning out the, the last of the pumpkin pie. Not that I had it. Greg wanted me to throw it out because there's only two pieces left. Right. And um, my brother's organized cherry the pie. Yes, I organized. I cleaned. Not that it needed to be clean, but the milk was turned a certain way. I had to have the milk. And, the juice. <laughs> and this is at a 10 o'clock at night. I'm like, what are you doing? I said, honey, I'll be right in. I went in to get some water. I'm like, oh, well, I'm here. Let me, and I'll start organizing. Could you believe I did that? <laughs> Greg's like, what are you doing? I said, I'll be there in a minute, honey. And there I am organizing the refrigerator and getting rid of the pumpkin pie because, you know, it was taking up space and I wanted to clean while I was there. That's funny. So it's though. one less thing I had to worry about, right? And it's one less thing that Greg had to do. You know what? I bet, now that you say that, I bet we all <laughs> what can put, I tell you? put certain things in certain parts yeah, of the refrigerator. Yeah. Like your milk always goes here. Yes, you know? I just do it. Yeah, it's funny how that probably And most even of us that do when that. it comes to laundry, oh, I could go on. I'm giving myself away. No, <laughs> I mean, things have got to be done. Towels a certain way, socks. I mean, just, you know, not overkill, but I mean, I mean, it's just the way I've always been. Right. So, and it's a good habit, you know. To others, it might be annoying, but to me, it's it's to me. I doubt I can change that. I've been doing it for so well, long. Well, then there's always the ones that husbands and wives <laughs> fight over about: Do you squeeze the toothpaste tube from I the know, center right? or the bottom? <laughs> well, I believe it's good to the last drop, so we do. <laughs> <laughs> we do get every drop, and I, you know, here, all right, here's a toothpaste. So you squeeze from the bottom. I do. Which I is do. what I do. I, too, I squeeze from the bottom, and I go like this. Right. <laughs> I squeeze up like that, and I make sure that okay, there's a little bit left. And Greg, oh, he does the shopping. He always makes sure we have like four tubes or uh, several, and then we go because we brush our teeth a lot. So he's like, okay, and he does the same thing. We squeeze, and then he rolls it. I don't roll it. He rolls it. I'm like, honey, I think it's squeezed enough. <laughs> and then he rolls it. It's funny. I have it. Waste not, want not, remember? That's right. Waste <laughs> not. I love that. I said that the other day. Waste not, want not. That's a wonderful, wonderful statement to remember. It is. Yeah, that's right. And like I said to Greg, it's a shame to waste food. That's why everybody that came for Thanksgiving, take, go, mind to eat, eat. Now, do you have containers that they can oh, keep? Oh, yes, yes. They can keep? Plenty. Yeah. My sister-in-law, Debbie, she's so cute. Or do you know, they bring their own containers? No, De <laughs> Debbie, I do. There was a time yeah. we had way too many containers because, you know, let's face it. Right. And then when we had moved, I said, this is ridiculous. i got to get rid of some of these. So I did. <laughs> and, I mean, to a certain degree, you want to keep a certain amount because you right. know that you're going to have holidays and whatnot. And I do, as I, you know, eat, 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 take this, take that. So Deb's like, my sister in law, she says to me, don't worry about us. because I had the containers that you gave us a couple of years ago. I just wash them out and I keep my, no, we're coming to the house. So, <laughs> and she's good about that. So, and that's, I appreciate that because I get to save my containers and then Holly brings the containers back. She can care less, but I mean, I, you don't have to. I mean, right. you know, I can get other containers, right. but I mean, they're nice to have. I mean, you know, hey, listen, the more containers you bring back, then the more food you go home That's with. right. There you go. <laughs> Waste not, want not. <laughs> Oh we have gosh. a song for, t for today. You know, speaking of that, everybody knows Elvis Presley. Oh, he's the man. He had, I was telling Jim, he had a, a movie, of course, one of his fine movies, Change of Habit. And, that was the name uh, of the movie? That was the name of, I, I, I think, uh, who was it? Uh, Change of Habit. Uh, oh, my God. It's going to come to me. Mary Tyler Moore, for crying out loud. I couldn't think. Mary Tyler Moore played alongside of Elvis, and I think she played a nun. Forgive me, I it's been a long oh, time. Cute. I haven't seen habit, the nun's yeah, habit. Change of Habit, oh, okay. right? Cute. So it really is, and this is a song that came from his movie Change of Habit. Um, and it's spiritual. Now, yes. now that you say Change of Habit and dealing That's with right, nuns, spiritual. it makes sense. The habit. It, it makes sense that right. it's a spiritual song because so, when Deb played this for me before, yeah. I said, "Wow, that's a spiritual song." Those lyrics. It most certainly is. We're just gonna sing. We're gonna play the music, and uh, for those who know it, of course, it, it's an uplifting song. Yeah, but this first verse uh, is really I lo love see. the lyrics. It says, "Okay, let's get it going here." If you're in old habits. Set in your old ways, changes are coming, but these are changing days. And if your hand is in the sand, when you're running on, you need what you need, what you need, what you need to change your habit, what you need to change your habit. 
Let your temper fly when you talk with people. Don't, don't see eye to eye. eye. And if you don't believe it, the new world ahead. You need what you need, what you need, what you need. Just believe the change of habit. Interesting, isn't it? What you need. I love his spiritual songs. He's a very, he was a very, I mean, I all yeah. my life, I, I, who doesn't love Elvis Presley, but all my life I've adored him. I remember my girlfriend, Nancy, and Nancy, I know you watch the shows, we used to follow an impersonator, the big L. Oh. And, uh, oh yeah, but Elvis is, was a very spiritual man, and I forgot about that song until this morning. I'm like, wait a second, so that's why I ran it by you. Great, great. Uh, Change of habit, it just came to my yes, mind. I'm glad you selected that, that's a good one. Forgive us uh, for me going off, and I just like we weren't prepared to do that song. What you need, what you need. That's the easiest part of it. That's okay. I, did, I okay. got the idea. So, our dear Marie, you Pinch know what Schmidt. this means, right? Out of my mind and into your heart. Words of inspiration. And what do you think the essay's title is? Habits. Are you a victim of habits? Oh. <laughs> Oh, wow. It doesn't surprise me. Not with you, Marie. Not at all, honey. Not at all. Just read a little bit from it. I became frustrated this morning when I went to my front door to find my newspaper had not been delivered. Mm. Now, we get our newspaper every day and it's not delivered. How could I drink coffee without a newspaper? <laughs> See, right away. <laughs> we are such victims of habit. What would wow. happen if we veered totally from our usual routine, right? That's right. What if we made the bed <laughs> exactly when we got out of it each morning? It would be more likely to be made, and we feel our life is in order each time we enter the room. <laughs> life can be monotonous. Perhaps if we change a few things, we would concentrate less on food, television, newspapers, or any other addiction. We might find ourselves more creative in our homes or offices. Move a lamp. Hang a painting that's taken up space in your closet. Are you tired of looking at the same mirror and painting over the sofa? Switch it from one room to another. Of course, it will look strange at first, but allow it to grow on you. I love that. Decorative love items, that. That. yeah. Decorative <laughs> items and other possessions take on a new life when moved to a different space. Yeah. Just like people, they need a vacation from a boring routine. Oh, Marie, <laughs> spot on as usual. Spot on, spot I love on. It. I love it. I love we it. love you, Marie. And that's true. You know, I'll find myself doing that around the house, and Greg will be like, "Why are you doing that?" I said, "Because I feel like it." And it's just like a, something that came over me. And then it's, oh, it doesn't look good or it doesn't look good. But it does grow. But that's because you're creative. You know, creative people. I just like to constantly, yes. just like with a tree right now. And I'll take right. pictures, like I said, but I right. just, mm, yeah. it's amazing. It's your creativity that's coming you change. Coming you just want to go and, my mother did that a lot. And so did my dad. So, Beautiful. but, you know, the best feeling of happiness is when you're happy because you've made somebody else happy. We yes. always say that to you, yes. to each and every one. And we love being with you, you know that. We love, love, love being with all of you. And we hope that today brings you all the happiness that you deserve and all the happiness that you want. And what a yourself. difference a day makes. What a difference a day makes. And with that being the said, tambourine. here comes you know what. <laughs> what a, a difference, difference a day, day makes. 24, 24 little, little hours. Brought the sun and the flowers where there used to be rain. What a difference a day makes. And the difference, and the difference is, is you. And you, and, and you, you, and you, and you. You better believe yes. you make a difference in our lives, and we hope you make a difference in other people's lives. Until we see you again. We wish you a beautiful week. And, and always may, remember, remember to, to make, keep your horizons bright. Keep them bright. We'll see you soon, everybody. God bless. Bye-bye. Thank you for joining us. We always appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh -huh.